Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat some out of date, vibrant and fragrant chicken, prawn and vegetable rainbow gyozas. That's probably pronounced wrongly, but there you go. I've no idea what this is. Um, the use by date for this is the 27th of December. It is currently the 10th of January. Um, I bought this on the day it was about to expire. Normally this would have cost £4.50. It cost me £1.13. I just haven't got around to eating it. It's been in the fridge all this time, so hopefully it won't be too bad, but it's quite cold by our standards here. This says it's from the Tesco Finest range, which is the expensive range. And it says free chicken and vegetable, free prawn and vegetable, and free vegetable steamed gyoza dumplings. Now, it says remove all packaging. I'm not going to do it exactly the way they say, to be honest. I'm going to do it slightly differently for my own personal reasons, okay? Um, now, they tell you to put it on a microwaveable plate. I'm going to put it in here instead. This is basically a microwaveable um, container. I do take to take out of all the packaging so I can take this out. Um, this is Tesco's own brand. I've never tried this before so I've no idea what it's supposed to be. They also tell you to add water and they also tell you to um, make sure they're not they're not um, next to each other. Now I'm going to ignore a lot of that to be completely honest with you because I'm not they also tell you to use cling film. I can't be bothered with that which is why I'm using a container. I do have a bigger container which would allow me to have them separate but I just can't be bothered to be totally honest with you. So now I'm going to rip out of the packaging. So this is inside you get this tray this is not a microwaveable tray so that's why they tell you have to remove it completely because you can't put these into the microwave hopefully it'll still be okay after a week i've no idea what they are um one of them's burst open slightly it seems okay i'm just going to try a little bit just to make sure it hasn't gone it seems okay so I'll move about that separately. Um, although this is not the idea how you're supposed to do it, I'm going to put them all into here. One of them fell out, so um, and I said this is not what you're supposed to do at all. They're not meant to touch, but I don't care to be honest. Um, if it affects the way I eat it, so be it. It also tells you to add a tablespoon of water. So um, I'm just going to guess that to be totally frank with you. So um, add one tablespoon of water. I've got a jug of water here. I'm going to put in a, probably a bit more than that. I'm just going to guess it. So it's got too much. I'm not too worried to be totally honest so I'm just going to mix it in with the water and I said they tell you not to touch them but I'm afraid I'm not bothered um, I've no idea what this is going to taste it's like I've never idea if it be any good I've no idea if it's even still safe to eat but never mind you get three types you get the what I call the orange type you get the pink type and you get the yellow type I could probably guess what's in each, but I couldn't be sure, okay, without actually eating them. So, at the moment, I've closed the container at the moment so that I know that it's when I walk downstairs, it's not going to go everywhere. Um, it tells you to cook it on high for two minutes. You can also cook it from frozen, but I'm not going to. This has been in the fridge. I haven't got enough room in the freezer. I would have put it in the freezer wise, but I haven't got room because of other things we got from I got from my mum. So I'm going to put it in the microwave like this for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to bring it upstairs, back upstairs, and I'm going to try and eat it straight out of this container, okay? So I'll 
see you soon, okay? I'll show you me putting it into the microwave, taking it out of the microwave, and then, but when I put it in the microwave, I'll actually lift it up. So I'll lift the lid up like that, just so it's a bit loose. And then I will later eat from here, okay? So don't go away, guys. Okay, right. Now it's just come out of the microwave, so I'm going to lift this up. There's probably a lot of steam coming out of here. That should be about a minute, having been on its own for about a minute. Um, I'm sure some of these instructions I won't have followed, but never mind. Um, Just make sure it's piping hot, so it, it will be. Um, I have no idea what this is going to taste like. It might have only even gone off. I have no idea. But I'm going to, for my own reasons, eat it within the container. I just put this onto a plate just so that if anything spills over, it will spill over onto the plate. Yes, it's got some taste. I don't know what which is which. At the moment, I'm eating one is the orange one. I would have guessed the orange one was chicken, but I can't tell from the taste. Also, to be fair, this is about it's the tenth. So I have to work this out. It's probably two weeks out of date. No. There's some green in here, but. Hopefully it's not mould. Um, now I'm going to try um, the yellow one. Um, I'll just show you some of what's inside, if I can. I'll do the same in a minute with the orange one. That's some of the yellow one. Mm. It's very difficult to tell what any of them are. It might be because they're out of, out of date and have been in the fridge rather than the freezer. Um, but it's difficult to look inside and see what there is. Um, One well, there is that it's got, it tells you what an eight and the chicken one. It's got um, coriander leaf, soy, but it's got various things. It's also got fruit and fish, it's also got black carrot, peach, orange. Um, I said made using Thai chicken, so. And this is chicken from Thailand, apparently, in one of them. I'm guessing that the this is going to be the prawn one, because usually anything to do with prawns is usually mauve or, like, you know, over here. And if you know to, I don't know what mauve is, it's basically a sort of 
between pink and purple basically and And this is inside um the pink one. I'm not sure how you're supposed to eat these. Maybe you have to eat them with your fingers, I've no idea. Um and anyway, that's pink one. Earlier one. It's actually it broke open before I put it in the microwave so you can see what it looked like. Um, this is when I was trying to put it in before I put it in the microwave. And I'm going to show you the orange one again, so I'm going to this time break it with my hands. That's the inside the orange one. I'm trying to forget what they are. Um, But to be honest with you, they all taste of something, but what I wouldn't know. Um, what I can taste more is this outside thing than what's inside, truthfully. Um, now, that looks like it's got lots of peas and... Things like that looks like peas. I don't know what it actually is. It probably seems at all, but actually, what's the vegetable one supposed to have? Um, old cabbage, onion, carrot, yam bean, and spring onion. And I have more things. Um, but to be honest, now, I know this isn't a fair test because we're probably about two weeks out of date, but given these are meant to cost about £4.50, and I got them for £1.13, this was around Christmas time. I got these basically so I was just genuinely curious as to what they were. Um, and then they about to expire them section. So, and it says chicken from Thailand and this is traditional Thai food or I think not um and sometimes I get chicken here and things here from Thailand but usually that's in cheaper products. Not I'm not look for me trying this so Now, I think this is more of a chicken. So, I think they are in just a chicken. But, I can't see... I'm trying to any... No, I think this is a chicken. But, it's very difficult to tell. Because, most of the time, you're... tasting this... Outside thing, which I don't, I'm, I don't know what the proper term for it is, I'm afraid, because I'm not an expert on this culture, but on the culture of where the food is supposed to be. But it says packed with Asian flavours, so and often over here, Asia means India, but in this case, I think it means Oriental, you know, like. China, Thailand, or anywhere like that, you know, to be honest. So, so I've been very crazy. I haven't had much all day, to be honest. And you probably have this with other things, so there's maybe a starter, or you may have it with other things. But, let's see, I'm not being fair to it because I know 
Look at that, died by about probably about two weeks. Um I don't think there's any probably about it, I think it's definitely two weeks. <laughs> Maybe two weeks exactly actually, but um let's see. It's um Wednesday today, so it would be two weeks, yeah, probably. Maybe. Or would it be? I'll have to work this out. 28, 29, 30, 31, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 28, 9, 10, 1, 9, 10, 1, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. It's next December. Oh, I'm trying to remember my main date in September. It's ridiculous. Okay, um. Anyway, um, it doesn't matter, it's roughly two weeks, or exactly two weeks, something like that, so. Yep, so, it would have been Wednesday. One, two, Embarrassing, but I just want to double check. Yes, it is 14 days. It's exactly 14 days Pretty much. I mean obviously if you want to argue the case you could take slightly less than 14 days because it's not midnight But you know, this is the 14th day. So, you know, I've had it on the 14th day after you know the expiry date so and it does say um Use by, which means if you have something after a use by date rather than a best by before date you could actually die in theory you know I don't take too much notice of these use by dates. So there you go. Um I don't think it tasted that brilliantly to be honest, but I'm as I said, I know I'm not being fair. I know it. And also this was about to expire anyway. And this was sold on the day it was about to expire anyway, because I bought this after Christmas. Um when that was about to expire, but I believe it's after Christmas I bought this when it's about to expire, but it definitely has a use by date of the 27th of December. And I've, I'm eating it now on the um, 10th of um, January. Now, to prove that I'm eating it on the 10th of January, um, there's a news story um, today, and it says Sunak announces law to overtone convictions in post office scandal. Recently, there was a documentary. Um, well, a sort of drama slash documentary, a dramatisation of real events where there was a scandal over here where totally innocent people were put in prison because the computer system um, didn't work properly. And because the computer system didn't work properly, several people were accused of theft wrongly and went to prison. Later, it was found out that the computer system was faulty and they'd done nothing wrong whatsoever. And the government have now brought in an emergency, are going to bring in an emergency law which says it will completely overturn all their convictions in a special law so that they won't need to have separate appeals it will just happen automatically um, and that was announced by the Prime Minister today they were thinking about doing it but it's been officially announced today that they're actually doing it okay and I will link to a BBC news story stating that so that that proves when I ate this okay okay guys that's it um, it sounded okay, but for four pound fifty, not worth it for me. If this was how it tastes, if it tastes like this normally, for four pound fifty, no, I don't think it's worth it. And I don't think it's because I put this in um, a microwave ball container rather than on a plate and cling film like they tell you to. I doubt it make much of a difference. They also say make sure they don't touch. They did touch, but again, I doubt it make that much of a difference. So I could also put some extra water on just in case. And I doubt the extra water made that much of a difference. So there you go, guys. Um, chicken, prawn and vegetable rainbow gyozas. I think this is more of an appearance thing. So it looks good more than tastes good, to be honest. But maybe it's me. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.